Oh, what's going on, everybody here, and welcome to Z1 TV. Today, we're turning into yet again another TCG channel because we're opening up some Lorcana games. Um, so we went out, we got some Lorcana. If you don't know what Lorcana is, it is a new Disney TCG game. So it's um, you know, think of like you know, Pokemon, Magic, stuff like that. Um, I play Pokemon. I like Pokemon. So, um. But this seems to be a little bit easier to get into, so I'm thinking that me and my kiddos and the wife, you know, we might start playing this for funsies, because I absolutely love TCGs. I love playing card games. I love things like that. So, um, yeah, we're going to do some checking out of Lorcana. Now, it is hard to find right now, and I want to tell you one thing for sure. I want to tell you one thing right at the very beginning. Do not pay more. Don't, don't pay a ridiculous amount for any of this stuff. It's going right now. They did a, like a soft release, if you will, um, on the 18th, where local game stores, LGSs or LGCs, local card stores, whatever, they're getting all this product. Um, and I have a whole bunch of product here, so I'll show you, you know, what we got going on. But don't overpay for it. So a deck like this, like this deck right here, is supposed to be $17.99. Um, I think I paid $22.99 for it because, you know, local game stores. Pay a little bit extra, you know, because that's that's how they stay in business. That's how you that's how you keep them there. That's how they keep the lights on. I understand 100. Um, percent I went to one shop. This box right here, the 17.99 box, fifty dollars, fifty. This box, fifty bucks. Are you kidding me? Like you can buy almost three of these for that. Um, and then we also have this box here, which is the uh, the first chapter. What is this? The gift set. Uh, this one was $39.99. Normally it's $29.99. So there's a $10 markup on this, which is like I said, I'm fine with that. One of the shops I went to, a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars for this. Read it. Don't don't pay for that. Um, it's gonna come out on September 1st to like Walmart, Target, things like that. They're gonna have it at MSRP. Walmart is not gonna sell it for anything more than MSRP. They're not. They just they're just not gonna do it. GameStop. They might. GameStop likes to sell Pokemon stuff for more expensive. So I don't buy Pokemon stuff from GameStop because they're too expensive. Sorry, GameStop, but it is what it is. So, anyways. Let's get into some unboxing. Let's look at some stuff. So like I said, we got some decks. We got that. We've got some uh, deck boxes. Oh, deck boxes and stuff like that. So um, again, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Are you looking for, uh, forward to this? But let's get started with, uh, let's get started with, we'll get started with the little stuff. We'll get the little stuff knocked out and then we'll do, um, we'll get into the bigger stuff. Okay, cool. That looks fun. Also, if you guys enjoy, subscribe, leave a like on the video. Uh, this whole channel has been demonetized again because I hadn't uploaded it in a long time and now i'm starting to have fun with it again so we're doing this look i even got pokemon shirt also this is a mess back here because i'm actually working on redoing all of this uh you can't really see it right now this is eventually gonna get slid over um and it's gonna get redone <laughs> so let's get into some unboxing stuff so um, i'm gonna go ahead and move a little bit out of the way here and we're gonna slide these out of the way i'm sorry i still don't have a really good uh camera angle for this but let's go ahead and let's you know what let's start with mickey the mouse Mickey, um, we're gonna look at these deck boxes. So here's a deck box. Um, this was seven dollars. I don't know what MSRP is on this off the top of my head. It looks like a standard deck box. It's plasticky, but we're gonna go ahead and open it up. I am probably going to need a knife. Otherwise, you know what? We're gonna just destroy the box. That's fine. We're just gonna destroy the box. Now, um, also another thing is, like I said, watch the pricing on stuff because the pricing it is Disney. There's Disney fanatics out there. There's people willing to pay a lot of money, which means there's also a lot of people willing to scalp for this stuff. So, um, yeah, don't get too excited right away. <laughs> um, so cardboard is gone, but here is the actual deck box itself. It looks pretty nice. I mean, it's, I'm not gonna, it's just a plastic deck box. It's nothing, nothing super amazing. Does it say who it's made by Disney Ravensburg? So I don't, I don't know. Um, just a standard plasticky deck box. Nothing amazing. It's not any. I mean, okay, Dragon Shield, this is a sleeve box, so it doesn't really count, but this is this is cardboard, but Dragon Shield is like, come on, they're the sleeves of the sleeves. Like, Dragon Shield, hit me up. Let's, let's, if I'm going to start doing a TCG channel, we're going to need some sleeves here. <laughs> so that looks pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and let's do the uh, the matching sleeves. So we also have two other deck boxes here. We've got a, uh, a Captain Hook, and then we've got a Elsa, which both look nice. The artwork on it's really cool, um, but like I said, they're just they're just plastic deck boxes, and I'm actually curious to see if they'll fit once they're sleeved, <laughs> because some deck boxes don't like once you sleeve a card. But let's go ahead and let's look at these sleeves, because this is also what's gonna be interesting too, because sleeves sleeves can vary on how nice a sleeve is versus how not nice a sleeve is, and I want to see. Okay, so immediately just holding this stack right here, they're a little thin. They are a little thin. Um, they're kind of, okay, so they're not like holographic. They're just, they're regular. I don't, 
Let me let's oh, I don't have a card to put in one. So I've got this sleeve here, and then I here's a okay, so here's a dragon shield. So dragon shield sleeve, this sleeve, there's the back. I mean, honestly. This one feels like this one feels like a, it's just like a different type of plastic. You know what I mean? This is not the same type of plastic. This actually it actually feels pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it actually feels really good. So I want to get a whole deck sleeved in though. I'm not gonna lie though, they do feel a little flimsy when they're in a full stack in your hand, but whatever. It is what it is. So um maybe they'll come up with some really cool characters. I'm gonna tell you right now what I want. The reason I'm so excited, like I'm I'm excited about the classic Disney characters and things like that, but uh I hope they do Star Wars. Like, I really hope there's a chapter of Star Wars stuff, and like that will be. Oh my gosh! Don't even get me started. Okay, so let's look at a deck here. Um, let's see which one do we want to open. We're only gonna open one of these because they're all pretty much the same. We're gonna open up. We'll open up this one. We'll open up the uh, the Moana and Mickey one because it looks pretty neat. It looks pretty fun, and I want to see what comes in the box. What's in the box? We're gonna find out. All right, so box is opening. What do we got here? Okay, we've got eh. Okay, so empty box. Now it says it comes with a starter deck of 60 cards, including including two foil cards, 11 damage counters, one paper playmat, one paper tracker token, game rules, a booster pack of 12 cards. Okay, so the booster pack is probably gonna be the highlight of this box, but that's okay. So box gone. Sinar. Now I know there's probably a lot of people that are gonna be like, no, you should keep the boxes. So here is a first look at some cards. <gasps> I'm so I'm ex you know what? Hold on. Let's let's save that. We've also got a booster pack. So the booster pack, obviously, a super highlight right there. Um, here's our damage counters. They're just going to be cardboard. Uh, you just pop them out, and then this is your gonna be your like counter deal. It's just cardboard. Um, I would use dice. Just use dice. If you have dice, if you don't have dice, I mean, you'll have everything you need here. And then let's see. Okay. So here's the paper play mat. So what's in, this is what's interesting about this is they kind of have it to where they have it. So like it's one side of your play mat. So like you can see, I have a play mat here. It's a Pikachu play mat. And basically what's going on here is like, this is kind of like a standard layout. Now I know it looks, it looks kind of weird because it's like, it's like, the right hand side or the left hand side depending on how you do it but normally like you know your uh, your deck's gonna go here discard piles there um your inks are usually at the bottom like where or your energies or like if you're playing pokemon you're benched or if you're playing magic your your man is down at the bottom and then your uh, cards and play up top so very cool but there it seems like also i was watching some videos it seems like you know like every other card game there's kind of they're kind of loose with where placing so you can kind of place things where you want as long as you know and your teammate knows and then here is actually your uh, your score counter so if you use this little puck deal the idea is that this is your lore counter so your lore would start off right there at basically zero and then you go to one and then two and then you basically go all the way up to 20 first one to 20 wins um, so that's cool but you could also use a 20 sided dice which is what i believe what i'll be using and then <laughs> this play mat is kind of neat it looks cool I, I probably won't be using it though because to me it's, it's basically everything else your deck sits on one side your discards usually underneath your deck or above it like i mean your disc your deck could be here your discard could be above that whatever your ink wells on the bottom um so yeah pretty cool pretty neat stuff um we'll go ahead and toss this to the side for now and then let's open up the let's open up our first pack of cards shall we oh i'm so excited i'm so excited um also if you guys are really enjoying this and you actually enjoy like tcg games you'll enjoy this nerdy kind of stuff leave a comment let me know um because i have recently got back into it and i'm just having an absolute blast it's just so much fun it's like simple things in life are so much fun you know collecting cards having fun uh you can make it what you want and like this stuff like i said these this deck is supposed to be 20 bucks and you're good to play like you get this deck you're good to play obviously i would sleeve it i would sleeve the deck because shuffling an unsleeved deck is not fun um but let's go ahead let's look through some of the cards here so we've got um ariel on human like so there's gonna be you're gonna see a couple things here i'm not gonna go through like um every single card in this deck i'm also not gonna go through absolutely everything but you're gonna see a few things here um you're gonna have your character and then you're gonna have like a version of the character so ariel and then like this one is on human legs so that way there's different types so actually there's four of those there's a oh there's moana so that's what the foil cards look like here let's get in there and get some light shining they look pretty nice um there's a mickey mouse i am gonna tell you one thing here actually i'm gonna show you one thing and i'm not complaining i'm not complaining but like there's a difference 
there's a difference in hollows and quali quanti er, qualities of hollows. So I have a Pokemon card right here, right? This is this is actually a golden energy card, which I just pulled off of a thing. But um, and I'm not I'm not saying that Disney's early in their in their TCG, and this is usually how it goes. So usually this hollow right here is um i don't know the whole process but typically it's printed on a hollow sheet and then ink is printed over it that's what gives us this hollow effect now whereas you get stuff like this so this is a pokemon card that is a hollow but then you get texturing like pokemon does a really good job texturing their cards and a lot of like the really nice cards okay so here's a nicer here's a nicer card and this better example this is a mu v max you can see the texture in the card like these are, you can feel the texture like i don't know if i can get this to pick up but you can see on its cheeks like you can see lines of how the texturing is actually running with the card pokemon does a very good job on their on their um on their cards they're very very nice um, but they've also been doing it a very long time so um let me put these away. <laughs> Let me put these away. All right. So back to Moana. Looks super nice. It does look good. It looks good. It looks like a nice card. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna diss it at all. But I want people to know that if they're playing other TCG games, like, kind of like what to expect. Like, you know, this is the beginning. This is the first. Uh, this is the first time doing stuff like this. And honestly, this printing practice is probably a lot cheaper than that one. So you know, it might just be a budget thing. I don't know. Um, but there's those. So those look super nice. Uh, but then we've got we've got some Cinderellas. We've got, who else do we have? Oh, we have Hades, Lord of the Underworld. I like this card. Actually, we got um, my kiddos. I bought my bo kiddos a, this box right here, and they actually pulled a foil one, so I'm going to steal that one. Oh, there's Hey Hey. That's super cool. Uh, let's see. We got Maximus in there. We got Mickey. We got Minnie. Stitch. Probably going to build a Stitch deck because I love Stitch. Stitch is probably actually, probably out of this set, is probably my favorite character. Would be the Lilo and Stitch. Um... Yeah, so yeah, very cool cards, very neat. Also, here's the back of them. And what I like about this, there's actually a couple things about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go through this quickly because I'm trying to do an unboxing here. But what I really like about this game too is that a lot of games have specific energy cards or specific mana cards or things like that. So what's cool about this game is if you look at this corner right here, if it has this ring around it, so you see this card right here doesn't have a ring around it, but this these ones do. So these ones you can actually use as ink, which is your cost to play the cards. So what you do is you decide, hey, I'm going to use this as ink. You flip it over. That's your ink well. And that is your inner, essentially your energy card. Um, and what's cool about that is you don't have cards filling up a deck that are only energies. So it's like, oh, you know what? I don't need this card for the for the people I'm playing. So I'm just going to use this one. You know, it, it gives you, um, you know, ideas and things like that. It's really cool. So the back of the cards actually kind of kind of matter a little bit. It's the ink. But um, when you put sleeves on it, like... It's just gonna be flipped over. So I actually have a set of clear sleeves that I want to put on these because I think the back artwork is very cool. Uh, okay, so there's that. Now let's take a mid break, uh, a midway point here break, and let's open up a pack. I've never opened up a pack before of these. So um, now, as far as the pack goes, the pack pack contains twelve cards. Two of them are guaranteed guaranteed to be rares or higher, and there's one foil in every pack. So they did a good job of making sure. That you're hopefully getting decent stuff now i also want to talk about like the uh the rarities and things like that because there's also I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are gonna have questions about stuff so i'm trying to answer as much as i can but essentially we've got commons which is this little circle right here um that's a common so we got tinkerbell vicious betrayal oh and see like these are all scenes out of like movies and stuff like that and they're really cool um and a lot of times the text also kind of like matches the scene it's, it's really neat so uh we got mufasa um king of the pride lands abu mischie a mischievous monkey so these are all commons i'm just going to kind of go through them i'm not going to like talk about them individually uh, but then these are uncommon so that's what your logo goes here so we'll go ahead and slide these out of the way i'm also going to try not to mix them up with the deck so we got uncommons we got anna we got the mad hatter which i think is hilarious i'd also like to see like the johnny depp mad hatter i think that'd be a really cool like artwork uh, because yeah i think he played the mad hatter really really interesting um we got chief okay so now this is the rare so this is one of the rare slots so this is hades and then what do we have here oh okay so i so there's rare and then there's this emblem right here that's silver normally that would be super rare and then there's this one which is what is this one called is it called legendary and then there's enchanted enchanted are like the crazy ones that like you never see um the, the pull rates are insane on those but we got hades and we've got john silver so i'm not going to complain there and then what do we have here for our hollow we've got an uncommon 
Dr. Facilier's cards. That's cool. That's actually really cool looking. Um, and then they all come with this. So check out the Disney Arcana Trading Card Game Companion app where you can learn about the game and more. So there's a QR code if you want to check it out. Um, but then there's this like little artwork, which I'm going to guess that every chapter is going to have a specific artwork. So this is chapter one. So uh, we'll go ahead and set that maybe right there for now. Um, but yes, very cool stuff. I'm going to go ahead and put these in a pile over here and keep them safe and out of the way. And uh, yeah, there's that. So we got we opened a deck. We're good there. Um, we've got a pack of cards. Now let's go ahead. Uh, we have two more decks, like I said, and then basically these are these are just to play with. I'm not going to open these because they're going to be the exact same as that. Uh, I'm going to open up later and then sleeve them all. So um, yeah, we got more decks to open. Now let's open up our the first chapter i think this is the gift yeah gift set gift set so this is the gift set so super excited about this now the other things that i didn't get i did not get a booster box um the booster boxes are going for like i think they're supposed to be like 125 or 150 in there so a booster box and i can't remember how many packs it comes with i don't know if it comes with 32 or 16 um but it comes with you know packs and it comes with um, packs you need to open up packs so if we get a booster box i'll open up a booster box on video because i think that could be fun um, but this one comes with four booster packs it comes with and it comes with um these two foil cards and two oversized foil cards which i'm not yet sure what the oversized foil cards are for i don't know if they're purely for collection i don't know if there's any way to use them um like i said this format is new the whole game is new i'm actually going to a um i'm actually going to be going to a uh a card drop tonight to play pokemon and i'm going to be bringing this and seeing if anyone wants to play some lorcana because I just want to check it out, you know, just it's something new, it's something fun to see if anybody wants to play. And if I mean, if they do, awesome. If not, you know what? I was fine. I've been playing Pokemon all night, so <laughs> that's my Friday night ritual, which just started. So I'm actually really excited. Um, awesome. Okay, so let's let's get on here, and uh, let's let's do this. Also, you know what? If you made it to this point in the video, um, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. This is again, this is this is actually kind of like going back to like the beginnings of YouTube. So like I do my videos, right? Like I do my I do my daily videos on um, on Z1 Gaming, and it's fun. But it's like my job now, and like this is kind of taking me back to like the hobby side of YouTube, and that's honestly what I want this channel to be. I just want it to be fun, like do stuff for fun, have fun, and uh, you know, if it doesn't do it very good, I don't care. I just did it and I did it and have fun. So okay. So we've got, oh, okay, hold on a second here. Okay, I kind of opened it backwards. So it kind of opens this way. So this box is 99% air. <laughs> so what we've got, it looks like our two, okay, hold on. How do we get these out? Do I pull? Okay, so we've got our two large cards, which we will look at in a second. Uh, we, got, we have a bunch of counters. We got um, a couple of... Of cool looking token deals which i'll probably pop these out and just keep them throw them somewhere uh we've got one two three there should be another one in there <gasps> four packs and then is that no okay hold on there's more in here don't forget these we've also got the two regular size ones so we'll take a look at those two and i think that is everything so i'm going to put this to the side all right, so let's go ahead and let's start with these, which are the um, essentially the promos, I guess you would call them. Would you call them the promo cards out of the set? I don't know. I don't know if they have. A, let's see if they have a separate emblem, because usually uh, promo cards have a separate kind of little little deal on them. So we got Hades, which that is a cool Hades, King of Olympus. Um, again, I'm not going to go into like how to play the card game and any of that stuff in here, but yeah, there's that. I don't see specifically a promo oh you know what no i don't think there's anything that actually marks it as a promo what is actually nice though that i'm noticing is it actually does say the number on here if it'll focus so 118 out of 204 that's cool now that probably does not include any alternate arts any full arts any like super rare like enchantment cards or anything so that is very neat we've got those and then we also have the bigger cards which again i'm not 100 sure what these are for i think they are going to be i don't know so they're just big versions of the other ones they're cool they are really neat, um, but there you go. There's kind of a picture. You can kind of see how big they are. It's about, mm, what, like maybe two of these cards? So if you put, right, yeah, two, twice the size. Very cool. 
very neat. Um, the only problem is that this card right here is not a size of any oversized cards that I've ever seen. So finding a binder for these cards or finding sleeves for these cards might prove to be might prove to be really tricky. So, all right, we've got those. Let's go ahead and put those to the side. Let's open up our packs because I feel like that's what everybody's here for. Everybody's here for the pack opening, you know. Nobody wants to chit chat. We'll say Mickey. Um, this is the Mickey. This is like the Mickey that everybody wants. Um, Mickey the um, uh, the little tailor. Little Taylor, I think is what it is. Little Taylor. So let's go ahead and we'll open up that one last. We'll hope that the Mickey's in the Mickey pack, right? Absolutely. Okay, let's get into this, shall we? Um, one card that I'm really looking for is the Rockstar uh, or the Elvis. It's Rockstar. It's either Rockstar, um, Rockstar Stitch or Elvis Stitch. I can't remember which one it is. But that's one card that I am really looking for. So uh, we got Aurora. Please with comments. We got Tangle. Each opponent loses one lore. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I'm really excited to play this game. So Stitch, yes. Uh, new dog. <laughs> oh, I love that part of the movie. We got a new, I got a new dog. Um, Archimedes. Stampede. Uh, Fire the Cannons. What else we got here? Okay, we've got Elsa the Snow Queen. That is an uncommon. Then we've got the Mad Hatter, another uncommon. Um, Scepter of Arendelle. Uh, chosen character gains support this turn. Whenever they quest, they may add to another chosen character's ink. They may add their ink. Is that inkwell? See, I'm not exactly sure how this card works, but it sounds pretty good. Okay, what do we got next? So we got a rare. We've got Maleficent biding her time, and then we've got. Okay, so we have a uh, super. We have a rare. This is this would be a super rare because it's not all super colorful. It's just silver, and that is Mother Goth. Oh man, skip the drama. Stay with Mama. <laughs> While this character is exerted, opposing characters can't quite... Oh! That's kind of a neat card. Okay, and then what do we got here for the last one? Is a comet. Oh, he's got a sword! Ha <laughs> ha! That's super cute! Oh, I love it. Okay, and then we got another one of these. So, like I said, um, we're going to see if we can complete the set here with... I have four... Well, actually, I have five packs. Um, well, actually, here. Here's the other one. So, look at that. There's two of them. So actually I just need two out of the rest of this. Okay. We'll see what else we got going here. I'm sorry. I'm chit chatting. I'm having fun. This is a good time. I enjoy unboxing this stuff. I was going to unbox it anyways and like making videos on it. It's fun. So we got Maleficent common, Aladdin street rat common. We got a Minnie mouse beloved princess common, uh, Jetsam. <laughs> uh, there's also a flotsam too. So, uh, Horus. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, there's a lot of these. Oh, Tinkerbell, tiny tactician. Oh, she's so tiny. She's got a little thimble on her head and a little teeny tiny sword. Okay, so we've got uncommons now. We've got Sven. Oh, I love Sven. I wonder if you could, like, make a companion deck. Like, have, like, Sven in it, Abu, uh, Stitch. Like, like all that, like, kind of like the animal companions, you know? Uh, Maximus would be in, you know? That'd be kind of fun. Um, uncommon. Mother knows best. Uh, is this a song? So this is a song. So there's actually songs in here too because I mean you can't have Disney without breaking into song, right? Uh, Coconut basket. What we got for rare? Okay, first rare is Corella Deville. That's neat. Okay, what we got next? We've got another super rare. Oh, <gasps> yes, Rockstar Stitch. Oh, that's what I wanted. Okay, so um, shift four you can pay uh, what you need. I'm not even gonna go over it. That yeah, I wanted this card. This is super cute. Okay, well we got for the hollow. We got an uncommon. Oh, an uncommon Mickey Mouse. True friend. Very neat. I'll put that there. Okay, we've got. Oh, and then we also have another piece, which is. Oh, look at that. We're almost at a full foot here. Okay. Another pack. Another pack. Also, if you guys are interested, I do have a Discord. Uh, Discord.gg slash C1 Gaming. It's been my Discord forever. And chances are, if you're probably watching this video, you probably have already put, joined that Discord. But I'm going to put a little kind of chat in there because um, I'm going to see how this goes. This could be something that dies off. This could be like something I'm excited about now and like it just goes nowhere, which I mean, that happens to card games all the time. It happens to G TCGs. I think this one's going to be a little bit different because it's Disney. Um, so I don't know. Uh, work together. Oh, yeah. I forgot the Emperor's New Group. I love that movie. <gasps> There's Pongo. Uh, that's a handy card too. Pongo's actually really cool. Hey, hey, uh, I love it. Oh, hey, hey, could be a deck too. <laughs> a hey, hey, deck. Just the whole deck is hey, hey's. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, we got Freeze, uh, Stolen Scimitar, Prince Eric. We got Eric. Look at that. Prince Eric and Ariel right next to each other. My gosh, how perfect. Um, and then we've got Kronk. <laughs> 
and cut the chase. Okay, so what we got first first rare slot. We've got a rare. Okay, um, Morris. This is a Maurice. I can't remember. Okay, what do we have? So this. Come on. What do we got? What do we got? Another rare. Okay. Uh, Doctor Facilier. Hey, that's not bad. And then oh, a flounder. That's a cute little card. Okay, we got flounder. And then do we got? Yes. Look at that. What are the odds? Look at that. We got the whole little the whole little. Oh, brave little tailor. That's the card that. That's like the card that everybody wants. That's what is in this pack right here. Hopefully, that's this one. So, but that's the one everybody wants. I I think I don't know. I feel like a lot of people want it, but I want it. I wouldn't mind having one. All right. So we got um. Did we get a? I thought we had a super rare or a. Oh, we opened one in the first pack. Okay. All right. Develop your brain. Boo. Oh, Pumba. Oh, Pumba's a key. Look at that. I love the artwork on these two. They're 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 all pretty good. Um, Maleficent. There's Peter Pan finally. Simba. Olaf. Oh, that would be a fun deck to play too. Olaf is so fun. Okay. And oh, this is one of those cards I was telling you that they have like lore kind of associated with it. So, uh, Grandma, Grandma Tala, right? Um, and then her like abilities, I'll be with you. So when this car is banished, which means like she, you know, dies or whenever, when, whenever it gets defeated, uh, this card goes to your inkwell instead, instead of being banished. So like in, in the movie, when she dies, she becomes like the manta ray and she still helps out, you know, and she's still around helping. So it's kind of cool that to see like little things like that. Okay. And then we've got first rare slot. <gasps> Ooh, a stitch abomination. Okay. And then we've got second rare slot is going to be, okay. A super rare, uh, a Hans. Oh, Hans is a jerk. And then what do we have for a hollow? A rare, grab your sword. Character with cost five or more can tap to sing this song for free. Deal two damage to each opposing character. Very cool. And we got another piece here, but we don't need it because we don't, we just, we just don't need it. Um, this is gonna go here. This is gonna go here. But yeah, there you go. That's, there we have it. That is Lorcana. That is really exciting. I'm excited to play. I uh, leave a comment. Oh, man, I feel like I need to get a booster box now. Oh, but they're not cheap is the problem. The problem is like I have been getting into too many trading card games. <laughs> uh, I just I just went through three booster boxes of the new Pokemon set, which I need to. I'm done with that. I'm done with the new set. Um, but now Lorcana is out. So like now I'm like, okay. And I got to figure out some decks. Like I got to figure out deck building. Um I also want to play with these, these decks here and see like which one's the best one and kind of go from there. But yeah, thank you again for coming out. Hopefully you had a fantastic time. I'm having a wonderful time. I think this is going to be a fun game. Uh, if you want to see more kind of content like this, leave it, leave a comment. Let me know if you want to see more unboxing things. I think I'm going to do unboxing stuff on this channel. I'm going to get set up for it eventually. Um, like I said, I'm going through stuff, trying to clean up stuff, my background. So my background actually, this background actually probably won't be an unboxing background. I'll probably have an unboxing because I have an, I have a table right behind my desk here i'm really i'm situated kind of weird um but that i think is going to be my unboxing table i'm going to try to set up a whole setup over there like a camera top down all this stuff to try to make that work so it can be a little bit better um because i feel like this i feel like it's weird i don't know maybe i mean it's working <laughs> so but enough to chat thank you so much for coming out hopefully you enjoyed it. if you did like subscribe all the fun things and i will see you in the next one bye everybody